I am so excited. We're going to Toronto for three days. Toronto is actually only like two hours away from Buffalo, so it's the perfect little getaway, if you will. And I have been wanting to go back to Toronto for years, but the border's been closed because of COVID, and I haven't really been home in the last two-ish years. So now's a perfect time. We're gonna go for, I was gonna say weekend, but it's during the week. So we're going Wednesday to Saturday. Let's pack our bags. I am driving. This is a bag I'm gonna take. I could bring a bigger bag, like a full size luggage, but we're only going for a couple days. So I feel like this is plenty and I'm really going to try and not overpack. So this is my normal carry-on bag for when I fly. I got it for Christmas. I brought it to Florida with me. So it's London fog and I love it. As you can see, it's pretty deep like it's gonna be plenty of room for three days of clothes and i'm also planning on wearing my outfit for tomorrow during the day in the car because it's only like a two-hour drive like i said so i think this should be enough i'm gonna try and limit it to like two to three pairs of shoes little storage pockets in here i have some bags left over from last contract or maybe this is mine what is this oh my leftover pods I'm gonna bring to wonder with me so i'll take those out for now this is what we're working with and then i'm probably gonna bring like a duffel bag or a tote bag for some of my toiletries my laptop that sort of thing it's kind of crazy that we're packing now because i have to pack again in like two and a half weeks for wonder i'm actually probably gonna pack in like a week or start packing gathering things together so lots of packing videos coming up but here is the closet as always nothing has changed i still have way too many clothes I'm trying to downsize and I did actually get rid of a ton of things when I came home in December, but it's still, still too much. I did start to look up some outfit inspo on Pinterest because I feel like this is a perfect time to do that. Usually if I pack for a long period of time, I just have to kind of pack a bunch of different things and throw them all together. Whereas when I go on a trip, I like to pack in outfits. So I took a few screenshots of like some basic outfits. So this one I'm definitely going to recreate. I have pleather leggings, I have Doc Martens, and I have like a long pea coat, if you will. And then I also really like the look of this. So it's a white or like cream knitted skirt with a turtleneck. I have a skirt just like this from Princess Polly, so I'm gonna try and recreate it or do something similar. This is another really cute look. So I, I did screenshot a bunch of different ideas we're going to try and get some inspo from there this is very obvious but you should always check the weather before packing for a trip because you just never know what you're going to get i guess if you're going to florida you can pretty much assume that it's going to be warm or like anywhere south for that matter toronto is more north than we are and it's been a little bit warmer the last couple days because last week it was like two degrees fahrenheit tomorrow it's supposed to be a high of 54 which just sounds pretty nice. The day after that, a high of 40, and then Friday is a high of 33. So I'm definitely going to want to pack in layers and pack warm, but I also want to be practical with what I pack and not pack too much because that is what I'm notorious for. The first thing I want to grab is definitely those black pleather leggings. They're buried in there. I've got two options. I have a pair of joggers, and then I have more traditional leggings, if you will. I think I'm gonna pack the leggings. Oh, I did just get a pair of pleather pants from Zara. Let's see. I think I have them in another color from Zara, like mar maroon. So I found them in this like taupey cream color. They are like the perfect length on me. They're suede on the inside, so they're really warm. And they were on clearance for $10. So I think I'm gonna pack these as well. This coat is a must-have for the trip so cute it's like a chestnut color definitely really warm i bought it from zara when i was in new york city in december so i'm gonna pack this this can definitely go with the black leather leggings i'm gonna try and find a sweater in my closet match as close as possible with this because i really like the look of that i have resorted to trying on the clothes because i feel like i can't get a full idea of what it'll look like unless I do that so I have figured out my first outfit I'm packing so I've got this little chunky knit cream sweater from American Eagle and I paired it with some like off-white or like cream 
denim pants. I don't remember where they're from. I think that I thrifted them. My room already looks like a disaster. I just ripped everything up like a Tasmanian devil for the last five minutes. This is where we're at, <laughs> but we've got one outfit. Super easy. I love a monochromatic look, so we're going for it. I do think I have a scarf that I can wear with this, either like a bright pink scarf for like a pop of color, or maybe I have like a checkered greenish one I just got, or maybe I just will scratch this scarf all together because I do like the all white look. Moving on to the next, we're gonna try and sort out this outfit with the pants. This top matches pretty closely to the jacket. Like it's not exact, but I think when it's under, it might work. The only issue I'm having is that this is too dressy for like the daytime. Let's try it out. So I have this little turtleneck. It's like a cropped turtleneck, pretty thin, but this jacket is so warm and I'm going to be wearing it the whole time. So not an exact match, but I think it might, it might do. Let's try it on to confirm. I think we have a winner. I think it works. I mean, it's not, again, it's not exact. In an ideal world, I would want it to match exactly, but I feel like this is cute for the city walking around. I can throw a scarf on over top and we're good to go. So it's a little cropped as you can see. I'm a little full from dinner, don't mind that. But yeah, this is I think a good second look to pack. And this coat I can also wear with the previous outfit I just showed you. So that works perfect. And I do also have a puffer coat I might bring. So I can decide on the coat for the other outfit, but. This is another look. We're gonna be doing a lot of walking, so I wanna be cute while I'm still warm, you know? I feel like you put together an outfit and then you throw a jacket on and then the whole outfit's gone, you can't see anything. So I'm trying to figure out outfits that'll keep me warm. And these are lined on the inside, so we are gonna be golden. I have sorted out outfit three. I've got this fun geometric kind of color blocking sweater from Princess Polly. And then I just paired it with some like light wash denim as you can see so that's the look it's fun it's easy it's probably what i'm gonna wear tomorrow because it's comfortable and i can wear it when i'm driving we figured out another outfit so i've got this little top it's like a herringbone print kind of matches my luggage and then i paired it with like envelope shorts but i'm gonna wear them with some tights obviously because it's cold and then maybe a headband of some sort, and some heels. I feel like that's gonna look like a moment for dinner, maybe for, for the evening because I've got my day outfits already sorted. And then I think I figured out my final outfit. So I've packed two options. So I have my pleather pants from Zara, and then I just have this little Princess Polly top. It's like a sparkly top, really cute, obviously with the jacket over top, or this little shirt sweater vest situation really depends on where we end up going what the vibe is because I don't want to show up wearing this if it's more of this vibe so I've got two options here's all the outfits laid out three day outfits and then two nighttime outfits and I always pack like a few extra tops just in case I change my mind and decide I don't like something so I have just one black bodysuit and like a cream wrap top something really neutral that can go with any of these if I need to change it, but I did try everything on, so I think we're good to go. I'm gonna pack my new perfume from Zara. It smells so good. It's like a sweet scent. I'm gonna pack this, probably just keep it in the box because it's the easiest way to travel. And then I think it's about time for us to put it in the bag, grab our toiletries and figure out shoes. definitely a hair washing day to say the least. We've fit everything in the carry-on. I need to figure out what toiletries I'm bringing. So I do already have this kind of like pre-packaged from last contract. I got some CeraVe shampoo, conditioner, dry shampoo. So I'm gonna just leave that as is because even though I'm not flying, these are like perfect convenient lip sizes for traveling and it'll fit just really easily into my carry-on bag. I do also need to bring like all my serums and face lotions, but I do use those at night and in the morning, so I will pack those last minute. 
deodorant is a must have. Setting spray for makeup. I probably won't use this, but I might as well pack my heat protectant just in case I do my hair. Here we have it, it looks pretty good. And I can just throw this right in the bag. I'm gonna pack my makeup bag, but this is already put together so I can just throw this in the bag. I'm going to bring my Naked Heat palette. This is just a perfect everyday eyeshadow look. Of course, my brush and we are pretty much good to go. And then I just have to bag all of my brushes, makeup brushes and throw them in there. This is a scarf I was thinking about wearing with the white on white look or this pink one, but they both kind of shed. So I don't think that that's probably the smartest idea, especially on white, it's just gonna get everywhere. I do have this neutral one that might be cute. I actually made this in college. Maybe that is what I will bring. For bags, I'm gonna bring this one because it's really cute for like dinner and stuff and black goes with everything. And then I have like a crossbody bag that I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring my curler. This is the T3 Micro. I absolutely love it. It has interchangeable barrels so you can change it out. This is my personal fave. I think it's like one and a half inch, just all the way down. This is usually the one that I use to curl my hair. So I am going to pack this in this little baggie. I'm gonna bring a few pieces of jewelry. I have rings that I wear like every single day. But aside from that, I've got my Little Words Project bracelets. I have this little airplane bracelet I got for Christmas. In here is a few like adjustable bracelets. And then I have some dangly earrings, like some hoops, baby hoops, a few options. And I'm gonna put them all in this perfect little size travel jewelry box. I'm gonna bring one pair of sunglasses. So these are my favorites. They're kind of like a Ray-Ban dupe or like knockoff from Amazon. I've had them for years. They're the brand Sojo's. I'll have them linked below. I'm obsessed with the shape. Here are two of the three shoes I'm packing. The pair of sneakers I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear tomorrow when I'm driving. So I have one pair of ankle heels and my Doc Martens. I really don't think I'm gonna need more shoes than this. So should be plenty. I might not even wear the heels but I'm just bringing them as a backup. But it's looking pretty good. It's, it's definitely full, but I fit everything. I just have to pack up my duffel bag with my laptop. And I think we pretty much should be good to go. Now that the packing is sorted, the next step of preparation for any trip is a shower. There's nothing better than starting a trip with clean hair. And I don't suspect that I will be washing it at all while we were in Toronto. I did pack shampoo and conditioner if I do, but my hair is greasy. It needs to be washed, so today's the perfect day. So I'm gonna do a hair washing day, a shaving day, exfoliating, you know, the everything shower, if you will. I did just get gifted some new hair masks, which I'm really excited about from Bondi Boost. So I got the anti-frizz hair mask and the rapid repair. You're supposed to use this in the shower instead of conditioner. So I am going to wash my hair and I think I'm gonna use the anti-frizz hair mask today. <laughs> hair which is the best feeling the last step that i have aside from getting ready for bed the night before any travel day is i like to whiten my teeth and i like to pop on some eye patches for good measure we are leaving tomorrow morning so i'm gonna try and eliminate the bags as much as i can i just have the pixie beauty beautify eye patches and then to whiten my teeth i'm using this arc teeth whitening travel pen. I'm just going to twist it 
and paint my teeth, wait 60 seconds to close my mouth, and then I have to just leave it on overnight. That's why I like to do it right before bed because you're not allowed to eat or drink for an hour. It's midnight <laughs> and bags are packed. I think we're ready to go. Obviously in the morning I'm just gonna double check everything just to make sure that we have everything packed, but worse comes to worse, we can just buy whatever we forgot to pack. But I'm very excited for our trip, so make sure you stay tuned for the next vlog because I will be documenting all of our adventures in Toronto and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.